Hello and welcome to the iSlips Guided Tour. Let's go ahead and launch the application. And as you can see, the first thing that comes up in iSlips is the time list. This time list allows us to turn on time. As you can see, it takes away the time on the entry while it's also taking away the value. You can also select another entry and it will shut off the previous entry and turn on the new entry and start to track in the time. Go ahead and shut that off. And we'll go ahead now and create a brand new entry. We'll select our timekeeper, select the task. And as you can see, the description is automatically filled in based upon the task default. Go ahead and select a client. You can optionally select a reference. And we have the ability to manually put in time, say for example an hour, or we can use the spin control to set some of the time for us. And also set the rate. So we're going to change the source to timekeeper. And we're going to change the level to 175. Click on done. And we'll save. As you can see, the entry is the first one in the list. And that is so that the most recent activity that you're working on is at the top. We have the ability to also sort the list by the client. I'll set it back to the date. You also have the ability to look at the total time in sort of a report format, including the hours, charges, both billable and unbillable, the total slips. You also have the ability to filter. So if I only want to see today's entries, go ahead and filter, and there's today's entries only. Let's go ahead to the expense list. And as you can see, it was a lot like the time entry. You can go ahead and select Timekeeper. Select what it is for an expense. We're going to do local travel. And then we're going to do particular client. And then we are going to go into the quantity field. And we're going to use the mileage calculator. And we're going to say that we're coming from our office to the client's office and it's going to go out and it's going to calculate it's 25 miles to the client's office. Now if I want, if it's round trip and I want to charge both ways, I can just flip the switch and it will double the mileage. Automatically fill it in and we'll go ahead and put in a price 55 cents and save it and then you can see we have our mileage tracked Okay, so let's go to client. And you have your full list of clients here. And they are separated from your contact list in the phone. And uh, let's go ahead and open up one of the clients. What we'll do is they'll show you your phone, email, address, the amount of hours that you've entered in for this particular client, and what the total charges are. And this is all within iSlips itself. By pressing on the phone number, it will dial that client and optionally ask you if you want to create a time entry and start taking away time. You can send out an email through iSlips. You can select the address and that address will actually go out to the mapping of the iPhone and allow you to locate the client if you need to. And let's just show you the simple report for charges breaking it down by billable and unbillable. And we'll show you, this is the data sync screen. And what you'll do is you will use a standalone application on your Windows computer to sync with iSlips. I'll show you just simply what that will look like. It will allow you to find this device on the client software and you will initiate the sync within that desktop app. The last thing is the more interface and I'm just going to show you the settings which allows you to set a default timekeeper, allow multiple timers, allow you to show maybe some slip fields that weren't in the original 
slip entry that you might use. When calling clients, you have the option of asking to create a new slip, or yes or no, start tracking time, and what task to use when you're making a phone call. And that concludes the guided tour of iSlips. Thank you.